Case swaps have really gained popularity among Optiplex enthusiasts. I mean, who doesn't want a better looking case? Only problem is, they're also a real pain in the butt. You're either stuck with the original I.O. panel dangling around inside your fancy new case, or you have to splice the cable into some sort of Franken connector. But what if I told you there's an easier way? One with no startup errors? Well, there is. Otherwise, I wouldn't be making this video. Now, I want to get this out of the way right off the bat. This is not a paid review and the product was not provided to me. I purchased the kit in this review for my own testing and use. As always, you'll get my honest opinion regardless. Now, what I needed it for was my Opti test bench. I didn't really need it, but I wanted an elegant solution to use the power button and LEDs that wouldn't throw any errors. I honestly thought I was going to have to cut up the front I.O. to make my own, but one day while I was browsing eBay, I saw these listings for some kits from a company called Harbin Repairs. They currently have a few different kits, one that works with the 390, 3010, and 3020, one for the 790, 990, and the Precision T1600, and one that works with the 7010, 9010, 7020, and 9020, as well as the Precision T1650, T1700, and the 3620. There might be other systems that use the same boards that'll work with these as well, but these are the systems they're guaranteed to work with. Also, these only work with the mini tower and desktop models. They will not work for the small form factor systems. This particular kit is for the 9020 as my test bench uses a 9020 board. And when they show up, this is what you get. Just a simple white box with a picture of the kit on the top. Opening the box, we have some packing paper with a small bag with the kit inside. And we also get an instruction manual that tells you everything you need to know, like compatibility, but most importantly, orientation of the connectors with detailed instructions and pictures. Looking at the adapters themselves, the build quality is good. The solder joints look great and these things look professionally done. I'm, I'm really impressed. The power switch adapter is the same for all of the kits, but the orientation changes depending on the model. It has connections for the power switch and the power LED, as well as the diagnostic LED, since the power LED in the Optiplex is a dual color LED, which flashes in patterns to tell you what's wrong, where your average aftermarket case doesn't. This way you can connect a second LED in case you're having problems. The front header adapter in the 10 20 series kit breaks out into the hard drive LED, the front USB 2 ports, and the HD audio ports. There's no connection for a reset switch, as the Optiplex doesn't have one but you could use the reset switch for an RGB controller to switch between effects in some cases. The 90 series kit has the hard drive LED, two USB 2 headers, the HD audio connector, as well as the four diagnostic LEDs used on the 90 series. And in the 390, 3010, and 3020 kit, you get one adapter that has the hard drive LED and the four diagnostic LEDs, but those will only work on the 390. You also get a USB 2 header that prevents an F1 error on startup. So all we have to do is install the adapters and the orientation is shown in the manual and then connect your front panel connections for your power button, power LED, and hard drive LED. Now, I don't have any front USB or HD audio connectors on this test bench, so ironically, I use the front USB ports from a 3020 just to test to make sure those work. So our power switch works, the LEDs work, and best of all, no errors. I did test the USB ports and the HD audio and they both also worked. So these adapters do everything they're supposed to do. They eliminate the F1 errors on startup and they're a plug and play solution that doesn't leave useless crap hanging around inside your case. You can buy these on eBay and each kit is currently $25 or you can buy just the power switch adapter for $13. You can also buy them directly on their website and they do ship internationally. Best of all, they have a GitHub site with instructions on how you can make these adapters yourself, which is pretty awesome. I fully recommend these to anyone wanting to do a case swap on any of these models. And all of those links to buy them or build your own will be down in the description. Also, currently Harbin Repairs only has these three kits. However, I've been talking with them and they're working on adapters for other systems, not just Dell, they hinted at some Lenovo adapters, some Inspiron kits, and some newer Optiplex kits. In fact, by the time you see this video, some of them might already be out, and if they are, I'll also link them down below. Now, the title said something about a giveaway, right? Well, I bought the kit that I used for this review, and I was so impressed with it that I reached out to Harbin Repairs to see if they'd be willing to send me some kits to give away. They ended up sending me one of each kit as well as a power switch adapter. So to enter, all you need to do is like, comment, subscribe, 
share with everyone you've ever met, and follow me on every conceivable social media platform. Just kidding, all you have to do is head over to my Twitter page and tag me with a picture of your system and what model of kit you'd need. Then I'll pick four winners at random, the last winner will be chosen from all of the entries, and they'll get the power switch adapter. I'm just going with Twitter since it seems like the easiest way to do this, and I'll have my Twitter handle down in the description. Anyways, send in those entries and comment down below. What case would you swap your Opti into? If you have any questions, you can leave those down below as well. And I'll still be doing a case swap video, so get subscribed to get notified when that hits. If you like this, you know what to do. If you didn't, well, just like the entirety of last year, life's full of disappointments. Something you can experience more with one of these videos.